Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on October the 28th, 2015. The title of the message is Suit Up Soldier. It is time for war. And the Lord Jesus began. I am in full armor this morning, my cubs. I am the commander ready to lead you out to battle. Examine yourself, put on your armor and follow me into battle. The enemy has lined up his troops. He has been waiting a long time for this, his hour of triumph, or so he thinks. Though he prepares his army early, you are by no means any less prepared. As you hear my voice and respond to my promptings, I am giving you all the weapons you need to fight. Just look at me and follow my lead. I have desired to see you on the battlefield for a long time, and now it is time. Everything under heaven has a time and a season when it must manifest. We are moving into a new era. We must face darkness head on. No more running and hiding. We must face darkness head on. Do not be afraid. I am with you. The devil will use fear during this time to intimidate you into surrender. All the horrors you have seen in movies, the ones you have become dull to, will be poured forth. Horror is the devil's speciality. He has been coaching you to get used to his brand, evil. But I am light. I lead you out of his darkness into my glorious light. No matter what he unleashes on you, look to me. For the weapons you possess are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. This is a time when the devil will unmask himself. For so long, he has made man believe the lie that he does not exist. But now all souls will know that he exists. Demons, vampires, zombies, dragons, witches, warlocks, aliens will freely roam the streets. You will be living in total darkness, my cubs. Me in you will be the only source of light. Yet even in this thick darkness, I am with you to help you overcome all. I will not abandon you, I am here for you, as I have always been. The weapons you possess will overtake the darkness. They were prepared for you long ago. Now use them to overcome. What weapons do you possess? Faith, love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, self-control, gentleness, patience. You possess the fruit of the Spirit. This is a mighty weapon to the pulling down of strongholds. You are made in my image, my cubs. You also possess my righteousness and my strength because you are my heart. My father is near to you to hear you. He has dispatched angels, mighty angels, to assist you during this time. Angels of strength and might. Angels that bring healing and reconciliation. Heaven is working overtime for your sake. I love you, my cubs. I will not forsake you. Furthermore, those who have gone before you, including my bride, are praying for you. You are not alone. I understand the severity of this time. I abhor darkness, yet you must live in it and overcome it. I will be your light, your only source of peace. The darkness in the world will make you sick, but I am here. I am your balm. I will take away your pain and suffering. Just look at me only. Go out into the darkness. My lost ones are waiting for you to lead them out of it and into my glorious light. My little ones are so afraid, confused, feeling abandoned. Go and bring them into my bosom, that they, like you, may also find peace for their souls. Do not despair, my cubs. Like I said earlier, I abhor darkness. That is why Satan is on a time limit. Seven years, then I return. He knows his time is limited, therefore he will attack with great fury. Do not be afraid of him. Fight back, even more furiously, my cubs. Victory is yours. Snatch my little ones out of his paw and present them to me like a living sacrifice. They are the treasures you bear in your hands for me. I accept them with joy. They are my creation and have waited for so long to see them come home to me. Remember, the rapture marks the beginning of this period. Satan will intimidate through fear, but you must go out in love to draw the confused, hurting ones back for me. They do not fully understand what has happened. They are so vulnerable. You must bring them in now. Bring them into my fold before the devil sinks his claws of fear into them. Rescue them, my cubs, and bring them to me. Protect them jealously. Watch over them constantly. Do not grow weary of them. They are little children, toddlers, 
who are just beginning to learn from you how to stand on their own two feet in me. Be patient. Guard them jealously. They are your sheaves, your harvest, your treasures that you must present to me unblemished. Make no mistake, my cubs. I require these souls at your hand. You will bring them into my kingdom. It is your responsibility to minister to them, to nurture them into spiritual maturity. You must teach them about me and show them my love above all else. When the time comes that you must leave them, if you are a martyr, you will leave behind mature oaks, strong, standing upright in me. Your sacrifice will only strengthen their resolve to live for me only. Do not worry about them as they lead you to the whipping post or executioner's table. My strengtheners, the same ones who strengthened you, will watch over them as they mature in me. Every one of my people will be ministered to at the level in which they are. I will not leave any a destitute. You will be in my fold, in unity. You will find peace in me even if they isolate you. Look to me. I am here for you. You are not alone. I love you, my cubs. Come with me to battle. Soon some of you will be going home, but not before you have fought the good fight of faith and borne the scars of battle in your bodies. I love you. My brides, heed my voice. Prepare for my return now. I am coming for you. I am here at the door. You will not live during this period of darkness in this world. No, you are coming home with me. Keep your garments clean, your fires burning, and strengthen your brothers. My strengtheners, learn from me. Learn from my spirit. Learn my voice. You will need my strength for yourself before you can strengthen another. I love all of you. My cubs, my brides, my strengtheners. Let those who have an ear hear. You are still on this side of the rapture. There is still time for a cub and a strengthener to be a bride. Heed my voice. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed.